In this series, we're talking about how to replace the injector, excuse me, detector jet in an FID detector. First thing you do, of course, back out of your software, cool down the instrument, especially the detector. Make sure the flame is off, okay? Um, a lot of folks will think they turn the flame off, but it doesn't happen. What I like to do, if you have air, I make sure I turn the air down to zero on the instrument and wait about 10 seconds. That'll kill the flame, okay? Let the rest of the instrument cool down, turn off your gases, and then you can turn off the instrument. Next, remove the tower. Of course, the two screws on the top cover. That's going to expose the top of the FID detector. First thing you want to do, you'll see two screws, one right here and one on the back side. Okay, go ahead, remove those screws. Once again, make sure this is cooled down. You don't want to burn yourself. Set that screw aside so we don't lose it. Set that screw aside. The whole injector unit will, or it's going to be detecting it will come out now. This plate also comes off. Set that aside. Gently lay this aside. Okay, if you look down here, you can see the jet, but we can't take it out quite yet. We have a high voltage electrode located right here. You'll see it as two metal prongs on the side of the jet or the head of the jet itself. You want to take your 13 millimeter wrench, which comes in your kit, and gently loosen this nut. Go ahead and remove it and pull straight out gently. This is high voltage electrode here. This is ceramic, so be very careful. You'll notice how the wings on it, or the probes, are spread out a little bit. What I like to do, I just put them together, just pinch them together a little bit, and lay that aside. At this point, we can go ahead and take out the jet. Included in your kit, along with your instrument, is this tool. It is an FID jet removal tool. Place that tool directly down into the top of the instrument. You'll see how that locks up there, okay? You don't want to torque this back or forth. You want to keep it as straight as possible because if you do, you can possibly break the tip off of the injector. And I'm going to show you why. All right, I unscrew it. Take a pair of tweezers and grab that injector. Excuse me, that uh, jet. This portion right here is quartz in between the two white parts, ceramic. That can crack very easily if you torque this tool back and forth too much. Once we take the jet out, you want to inspect it to make sure it is clean and reusable. If you notice the very tip of this, this one here has a little discoloration to it. It's not too bad. However, if you notice dark discoloration around the jet orifice here, or if you notice white precipitation on there, on the case of ethanol plants, you'll have that's usually caused by your corrosion inhibitor in your process. Other laboratories may have samples, dirty samples. If that's the case, your jet very well may be plugged. I prefer to go ahead and just replace the jet. In the case you may not be able to do that, you can actually clean out the jet using a thin piece of tubing or wire through the orifice. and making sure it comes out the end. So you're talking about uh, very narrow wire. Guitar strings work very well. The low E, excuse me, the high E on a steel guitar string works very good for cleaning out this orifice. Once again though, be very careful with it if you do choose to clean it. Alright, 
for training purposes. We're going to use the same jet that we have and just show you how to reinstall it now. If you don't have guitar strings, a good alternative is if you notice in your injector you get a syringe package, or an injector package. That has a very fine wire in it. Save that wire. That works very well as for cleaning out the uh, orifice port of the injector. It's going to be on the detector if you need to. Okay. Go ahead. We're going to grab that the pair of pliers, uh, forceps. Gently place that down. Center it up. Take the tool, once again keeping it flush, make sure it's seated, and just begin to turn it gently. It's self-tapping, and once it's tight, you just want to finger tight, make sure it's snug. Lift it straight up. That's all there is to inserting the jet. Now something to keep in mind, I like to do, and I didn't cover this earlier, is I like to remove the column from the detector side before I do anything. That's right here. I didn't do that in this video, but usually I will take this out and remove the detector side column before I even begin to work on the inject or the detector side, just for safety purposes. Alright, so we have the jet back in there. Next, we have to replace the electrode. We gently slide that in. You want both those paddles to fit evenly around on the outside of each side of the detector uh, of the jet. Once that's on in place, you can go ahead and screw that back in place. Now keep in mind you just want to snug it down very gently. This is ceramic. You do not want to crank on it. Keeping those paddles side by side. Okay, next we're going to take the collector, which is this unit, and the retainer plate. I'm going to slide that into the top portion. You see there's a notch right up here. I'm going to slide that into the top portion and slide that down into place. It'll fit right on top of the detector jet. Take my screw. I'm not going to tighten it down at this point. I'm just going to get it started. It may be necessary to move this right or left to allow you to get into position so that you can tighten that screw down. Okay, once I get that, I work each side of it so it goes in evenly. And that should be snug. Okay. That's snug. Make sure that the gate is open. And that's all there is to replacing that jet. Now you're going to want to cook that jet out for a while. As, so once you have everything done, we'll put the instrument back together again. the injector back on, plug it back in, turn my gases on, turn my GC on, let it come up to temperature and raise my injector and my detector temperatures to allow some time for that detect or detector to uh, bake in. Make sure your flows are on. And that's all there is to it.